so now it's time to create a endpoint for the registering a new user suppose a user create an account and hit the submit button then at that time a endpoint will be called and the user data will be stored using this endpoint in the database we will create a user creation endpoint for our blog app using that endpoint we will store the data of the user in the our mongodb database so let's start so i already created two file called user.model.js and user.js let me explain first uh, user.model.js then i will explain the importance of user.js so inside the user.model.js i first imported the mongos then i am using the mongos schema for creating a object a user user will contain three field because at the time of registering a user we have a three field the name will be three field is called username password and the email i fix the type as a string of the three field and required as a true because at the time of registering a new user the required will be mandatory because we can't submit a user data without this three field i made username as a unique because if you know about the instagram the, in the instagram the username is unique we can't create a multiple account with the same username so now it's time to export the this model and we will use this model later let me first explain what is the important of user.js so if i will write the whole code inside the index.js then it may become messy that's why i wrote a user.js file where we will write the whole code of the user related endpoint and i will route the user endpoint from the index.js over to the user.js so inside the user.js i first imported the express and i also import the user model i am using the router api of the express.js for the implementing a routing i created a slash register endpoint first and i am console logging that i am inside the register then i am created an object called user with the help of user class so inside the user i already have a three field called username password and email i am storing the request dot body data that will be sent using the calling that endpoint so i am storing the respective data to the respective point then i am saving that user data using the user dot save it will store the user data into the mongodb if it will run fine then i am just sending a response with the status code of 200 and okay if i will get a error then i will sending a status code 403 with the message error i don't need this response i can simply delete it i already exported it so if it will run fine then the status code with 200 will be sent back to the user a front end developer will manage it now let's import the user.js in the index.js file because we have to implement a routing method that if slash user endpoint will be called then the an the all endpoint will be go on a user.js i will explain it to the postman let me just code it first so for the importing the user.js we have to go inside the routes and then go to user.js now i will use app dot use and if anyone type a domain name slash user then after the slash user there will be any string will be go and endpoint will be search inside the user.js file let me just change the name because i use the user.route okay i will explain how it will work so i am using the postman for the api testing 
Postman is an API testing tool that will help us to test our API without writing a front-end code. Let me explain the user how it will create an endpoint. After the user endpoint, if I will write any endpoint called slash delete, slash register, slash login, all these endpoint will be searched inside the user.js file because I already routed the after the any use slash user endpoint we have to go inside the user.js file. So after the slash user any endpoint will be there that will go inside the user.js. So let me check the register endpoint first. For that just call the register here and the method is post method. Now inside the body we have to send the JSON data. So for here you can set the JSON as a type. Now it's time to run the server. I'm using npm run dev because I already wrote a script file for the development. Now let me first start the mongodb daemon i will start the mongodb daemon using sudo service mongod start it will start the mongodb daemon and our mongodb server will be up after starting a mongodb daemon let me hit a save then it will print a message called mongodb is connected if you get an error then your mongodb is not started successfully so let me write a json data over here for the registering a new user for this we have a three field called a username and i will pass the username as a dev stack one zero six and the password will be let me just create it first. Password will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and the email, the three field, and the third field is email as a Davish tag dot in. Now let me send it using the send, and now I'm getting an error that username of undefined i am getting this error because our server is not able to understand the json data let me use a middleware called express dot json and it will decode it will help us to decode the express dot json will decode the json data and our ex our node application will understand the json data let me send it back again now i am getting a ok message because now our server is able to understand and decode the json data let me check the our data is stored in mongodb or not hit the command mongo then you will enter onto the mongo cli because our database is appdb so i am using use appdb to use a database so use appdb will help us to use the database now i will show the collection that how many collection are created right now so i have a users collection inside the user collection i will find one then it will print the first data which recently created so now we can see that our username, password and email are stored in the MongoDB database. The task of endpoint creation is now completed. If you find this video interesting, please like it and give me a feedback that what are the glitches and also subscribe this channel. It will motivate me. In the next video, I will explain that how we will use delete and patch http request for deleting a user account and updating a password of the user thank you